back for LCC Wrestling, an off weekend here after the Defiance Border Wars. We'll talk about that. Of course, you saw them on the Allen County Wrestling Finals as well. As we're joined by Coach Nick Sanchez next to me, Jordan Heingardner, the senior. Uh, senior night's going to be a big one. It's just you, right? You have another senior? No, just me. So that's going to be a big night for... Yeah, it's going to be huge. <laughs> and then we have the junior, Joey Caprella, on the end. Coach, let's uh, start with you. Uh, small team in numbers, but you can really give a lot of personal attention to the guys you have. Yeah, it's uh, something that I've been used to since I've been part of the program. Uh, we've never been uh, huge in numbers, but great in, in the opportunity to train the kids, like you said, individual-wise. Um, so I like that. We're always... Sometimes we were... We're the joke about how we had more coaches than athletes, but <laughs> at the end of the day, it, it's better for them. So yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty nice. So Tell us about your staff this year and who you have helping out. Yeah, we, uh, Coach Lease is back. He's our head assistant. Uh, he's been, he's actually in his fifth year. Uh, he took over, uh, or he took in, came in the year before I did. Um, and then we had a former uh, standout, Caleb McDonald, <laughs> uh, came in and he helped for a couple for a couple weeks, um, but he's going to head back to Ohio State. Okay. Um, and then we have a few other athletes that we come in and, and train with us on a daily basis. So our rooms, our room is mixed up quite a bit, which is nice. Yeah. Um, but uh, mostly it's just myself and, and Coach Lee. And then, like I said, Caleb helped out a lot, but he'll he'll be gone. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no big deal. There. Tell us about the Defiance Border Wars. Great event here before Christmas. Yeah, it was great. Uh, they had it. The venue. Um, was over at the Defiance College. It was nice. It was more of an open tournament style, which I liked a lot. Uh, but we came out. Uh, we had four athletes wrestle in it. We only had one, unfortunately, that placed. Um, Jordan Jordan went three and two, uh, pretty tough weight class. And then uh, Joey was came in as a fourth seed. Uh, ended up being the the tournament champion. Um, placed out of two state uh, qualifiers. Knocked off a state qualifier. Um, and a high ranked Division one athlete beat him in the finals. Uh, we actually made your decision, yeah. um, so I think it was 12 to 3 or something like that. So great turnout, uh, wrestled hard, wrestled to, to where we wanted to be, and but you know we're always looking to improve, and there's always something I could pick them apart about. So. <laughs> I'm sure there is. <laughs> Joey, you're really challenging yourself this year with Allen County bumping up and then 145, that, that tough weight class. Just how much have you enjoyed those challenges? Um, it's been pretty good so far. It was nice being able to bump up to 152 and uh, wrestle against the guys that I always go with and practice over at Stomp and then be able to see him on the actual mat so different yeah. than in the room because in the room we're always taking down every like 15 seconds <laughs> and then when we get on the mat it goes a whole six minute match and there isn't a takedown to the last 15, 30 seconds I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. How about, how about it defines Border Wars? You were 145 there, right? Yeah. Is that where you think you'll be this season, or I'm not sure right we now? We don't know yet. <laughs> okay, feel I'll, it out. I'll answer that one for you. <laughs> we don't know yet. You guys, you'll come see, uh, come March or February, you'll know. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> what was the Border Wars like? You were, you were going up against some great competition. Um, first day was pretty easy, and that was pretty nice, get like a good warm-up. Um, I did a second day. I would have uh, somebody I drill with a lot, Colin Mel, in the semis, yep. so I was get, just getting prepared for that one. And then... Uh, Real solid finals match. I felt really good about that one. Wrestled really well and beat a pretty good kid. Jordan Senior, what's this feel like for you? Uh, it's awesome. Just getting ready for sectionals and uh, you know last go around. I'm yeah. excited. LCC Invitational always a great one. You, you getting for looking forward to that yeah, one too. Yeah, I can't wait. You know, home gym trying to go out and place place high. Try to win it. Is that madness, Coach, trying to put that tournament together and then being a part of it? I mean, that first day, they're passing out brackets yeah, to everybody. And I'll, I'll be uh, dead honest. I've been extremely fortunate with the community that we have available. Yeah. Um, I've been a part of a ton of programs from collegiate to, to, um, to high school. And it's really, not, it's really not a madness at all because we have so many people that are involved and are willing to help. And yeah. the volunteers come out of the woodworks. And it's, it's phenomenal. I, I truly, at one point in time when they brought me in, they said, all we want you to do is coach. We'll take care of everything else. Yeah. And they have done that. So... I, I've been blessed um, with athletes and with the volunteers and community, and that's what that's what really sells me on on our program in LCC as well. So that's a couple weeks away, January twentieth, uh, twenty sixth, and twenty seventh. Yeah. How many teams this year do we? we Forty two is what I believe I, I uh, was looking at yesterday. Okay. I'm, I'm not one hundred percent, but I'm almost I'm almost positive it's close to forty two. Does that really prepare you for the postseason? Seeing a lot of the teams you yeah. see down district road. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool because it, we it's an arguably you know not including the state tournament. It's arguably one of the toughest Division three tournaments in, in the state of Ohio. Uh, so it's great we get to see some of the athletes. That, like you said, we'll see them in uh, at the district tournament. So we can make some adjustments that we can if uh, win or lose and, and whatever it is. And um, I like it. You know, like I said, and it's you get that last 
big uh, brutal brutal war before mm -hmm. you go to before the prep for a section of the district state. So. Joey, what are you working on the next few weeks here? You got CIT uh, next week, and then and that that in two weeks. But what are you kind of working on for your your skills? Um, well, coach told me the other day I'm getting soft, so <laughs> I'm just trying to get a little. Then you tackle them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just trying to get, uh, get a little tougher, I guess. Before then, um, there's a few positions that I haven't really liked that I'm not scoring from as much as I could be. Okay. So I'm just working on dominating yeah. as much as I can, hopefully going undefeated through the season, then going into the postseason, getting a state title. Jordan, how about out of the border wars? What have you kind of been focusing on? I've got a lot to work on, but top especially, I'm trying to get a little better on top. Uh, on my feet, just trying to, trying to fire off shots and push the pace as much as I can. CIT, what's that tournament mean for you guys? Uh, I, it's a trip. You have to it, clean it. It is. It's a, it's a Cleveland one. It's nice because it's a different venue every year, every three years. Um, we, we switch it up. But uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm indifferent about it. I like okay. it. I think it's a great tournament. You know, we get to see a lot of Division One, Division Two athletes as well. So it kind of sees where, uh, to see where we're at with, you know, the big gossip about Division One's better than two and two's better than three. And sure. So, you know, to each your own when it comes to that. So it's nice to mix it up and see kids that we're never really going to ever see. Right. Um, it's a great tournament. I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm intermiss, you know, or, uh, intermittent about it. I'm just not real sure if – I don't know. I yeah. like it. It's fun. It's good to get out of town. <laughs> there you go. It's a tough little, one. A little vacation there. <laughs> well, you, you know a lot of the area wrestlers yep. too. How would you rate wrestling right now in the Lima area? <laughs> Seems know. numbers are down a little yeah. bit, but we do have some, some good talent. Yeah, that's, that's another segment we could do. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, th I think our, uh, our area wrestling um, is struggling. There's okay. no doubt about it. We're struggling, and like you, you'd mentioned, and it's not just our area, but it's a statewide. Okay. Um, state attendance is down um, as far as uh, participants and just people attending the state tournament. Yeah. Uh, I, I think if we can get everybody on the same page as far as the coaching um, or the coaches in the area, just everybody stay on the same page and, and work for the right thing, mm -hmm. uh, I think you'd see a difference in our area. You know, I know uh, a lot of people know that I run a club team, and, we're doing everything we can. We, the last year we had over 33 different schools represented oh, wow. from junior high and high school, um, over 40 athletes. We're doing the right things. It's yeah. just we got to make sure everybody can buy into it and continue to grow. Uh, at the end of the day, the, my main goal is is to show our area to be one of the top contenders in the state of Ohio. Sure. Uh, that's that's ultimately my goal, and I know that's some other people's goals, but we just got to be on the same page. Yeah. Um, but we're getting there. We're, we're growing. Um, things are just a little bit different than what they were 5, 10, 8, or 5, 10 15 years ago. Yeah, so. No question about it. Well, thanks for being here, yeah. guys, LCC Appreciate Wrestling. It. Uh, and we will have more wrestling as the season goes on. Up next.